Okay, Pat Lewis here. We are at Zone Fitness in Logan, Utah, and we're gonna teach you how to safely sanitize and disinfect a gym. We're gonna do this in two stages. The first thing is going to be a maintenance stage. This is what all the patrons should do once they use a piece of equipment, that they wipe down the equipment and take care of it after they're done. And then we're gonna go into a maintenance uh, application, which is what the gym owners and the people should do to be able to cut down on all the bacteria and the fungus that may be growing. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, in almost every gym that we go to today, for fitness, whatever it may be, they're always sitting out sanitizers and disinfectants. This is for your safety, okay? Use these products. It's not just for uh, you to wipe the sweat down or whatever it is. This is what safeguards you and the next person against bacteria and growth and the disinfectant will help you do that. So you take the disinfectant that they have, okay? And this disinfectant is a 1200 part per million. This is going to be for all of the touch points. So when you get done working the machine, you go ahead and grab one of these and some towels that are provided. And let's walk over here and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a bench. This is a piece of equipment that you always sit on, you'll sweat on, you'll have a lot of problems with uh, getting sweat and other things on there. So we wanna make sure that we protect this for the next person. So we're gonna take the spray bottle, you're just gonna mist a fine mist on that, okay? And then kind of make note of your timing on that. So you're gonna want this product to sit on here for four minutes. Four minutes is what the EPA gives us to be able to take care of a lot of the pathogens. So we're just going to let that sit for four minutes. The other thing we're going to do is usually when you sit on a bench, if you were to use dumbbells, you come by the dumbbell and you're going to want to spray where your hand is. You just put a nice little spray on there, okay? And then again, let that sit for four minutes. It doesn't take too long to do it. You just go ahead and spray the product. You can take the, the product back, set it on the shelf while you wait the four minutes, grab your paper towel. But after that four minutes, we'll show you how to wipe it. Okay, so we've waited that four minutes, a little over four minutes. So now all you do is take your towel and you're gonna wanna wipe down. You're gonna wanna wipe in one direction. What that does is the one direction will wipe all the stuff off of the chair rather than to smear it around like you see. You don't have to get it all the way dry. This will dry up, finish dry up in about a minute, okay? So that bench will be safely sanitized, ready to go for the next person. Go over the dumbbells. The rubber part of the dumbbell, anything that's not metal, you can just go ahead and leave that. It doesn't really matter to how much. It'll, it'll easily air dry on the handles. Wipe in one direction. Okay, now we're gonna get into some of the other equipment that you're gonna be using. When you're using a dumbbell set, whatever it may be, free weights, whatever it is, there's usually always handle points, touch points. Those are the one things you're gonna to wanna to focus on. On this particular bar, we have some vinyl as well. And so all you do is just again take your, your product and just go ahead and throw a fine mist of product on that, wherever your hands are, go, wherever it may be. And again, try to want to let that sit for four minutes. Make sure that everything is eliminated on there that we want to get rid of. Okay, again, after we get done with that four minute wait, we're gonna come back, just wipe down all that metal, moving in one direction, like we've taught, to wipe everything off. Okay, and then go ahead, wipe down that vinyl. And again, a lot of this stuff can air dry, but we want it to be somewhat ready for the next person. This product has an EPA approval to spray on and let air dry. So you can let it air dry, and watch the second stage of the cleaning, for the sanitizing and disinfecting, I'll show you that. But for this, People are gonna to wanna to come in and use this on a quick basis. So we wanna make sure that it's dry and ready to go. Okay, the next thing we're gonna work, work on is, is freestanding kind of equipment. This equipment doesn't get touched in a lot of places, but you have the opportunity to sweat or maybe get some bacteria on some of these places. So these places you going to focus is anywhere that your skin or body may touch or anywhere where your hand will touch. And again, you just spray that on there. Go ahead and let it sit for the four minutes and you'll go ahead and wipe it down. Now you'll also notice that on the weight, right here, this knob, go ahead and pull that knob out. Just give it a quick spray and then just put it back in. Okay, just like that. We'll go ahead and wait the four minutes. 
Then we'll come back and wipe this piece of equipment down, move on to the next step. Now that we've let that sit for the four minutes, let's go ahead and get it wiped off. Again, just try to wipe in one direction, trying to wipe everything off instead of rubbing it around. And again, if you leave a little bit on there, it's not a big deal. The stuff can air dry on there and it's just as safe as anything else. Okay, and that's done. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly run through and we're not gonna say anything, but just kind of show you some of the things that we would clean in a gym so you have a good idea of what we're going to do. Once you've wiped down the equipment, um, if you want to do it as an owner after, we'll also show you part of that as far as the other program is concerned. But as you can see, a lot of these things will still be a little bit damp and they'll air dry. This product can easily be air dried and have just as good as effect. One thing you want to remember is on the 1200 part per million, you need four minutes. And on the 600 part per million, which we'll get into when we do the maintenance stage, that's an eight to 10 minutes.